Hello Boars and Sales. Getting back to basics on this channel. You know, I started this down on the range channel because I, I had a lot of questions about the equipment that I was using on my Buffalo's Outdoors channel to film my firearms review videos. Didn't want to do videos of tripods and cameras and such on my firearms channel. So I started it down on the range channel and I, I answered a few of those questions. I, I think I showed the microphones that I use and stuff like that. But today I wanted to show this uh, camera boom. It's, it's a glide gear lateral boom for a tripod, uh, overhead boom. It gives you that overhead view. You know, for years I've been doing these YouTube videos and I've rigged cameras on tree limbs. Uh, I've zip tied tripods together to make a boom. Uh, I've used uh, microphone poles to try to make a boom for my cameras and never did really have much success doing those things. This little thing right here is the ticket. Let me show you how it works. It extends out over the table so that I can show you guys what I'm, what I'm looking at here on the table. Let me see if I've got this turned on. All right, we'll switch to that camera right now. You can see if I'm showing you a pistol or whatever it may be. Here's a box of ammunition. Little overhead camera just does a, does a real good job. It allows me to show the viewers, let them focus on what I've got laid out on the table rather than uh, trying to film me and keep me in focus and the gear in focus. I can just kind of focus on the gear. Now, it will hold a DSLR. This is my wife's Nikon D850. It'll hold it just fine, as you can see here. But I'll never use it for that. I'm, I'll probably just always use it for the GoPro, or I, I might put this little handy cam on here sometimes, but it'll mostly be for the GoPro. It does come with this little neat phone attachment. If you do, do a lot of videos with your cell phone, a lot of people are making fantastic videos with their cell phones these days. This, this thing just clamps right onto the phone. Go to my overhead view just to show that. It comes with this little clamp. Just clamps right to the phone. And you've got your quarter 20 holes here so it can just screw right onto the boom pole. Pretty neat little setup. Um, let me turn that off. Really simple, the way it works. Now it does adjust from 21 out to 36 inches. So pretty good range of adjustment there to reach out over your work. I like that, it's kind of handy. Does not come with this counterweight. That's just one of my dumbbells. It does, uh, it comes with these two big washers on the back so that you can add a counterweight, uh, counterweight if I can talk, and sandwich it between those two washers. Put your thumb screw on. That counterweight, if you've got a heavier camera on, that'll keep it balanced on top of your tripod. And you do need kind of a heavy duty tripod. This is a Davis Sanford. It's a Pro Vista Airlift pretty heavy duty tripod and with that tripod I don't have to worry about the weight of the camera tilting my tripod over even without the counterweight on a small camera like this GoPro I'm not going to have any problems now with the DSLR you would need the counterweight on there or at least in my opinion and you can slide it's got this slider here so that instead of adding more weight you can back that weight out some and it's going to give it more leverage to hold this camera up out here. And it does seem fairly heavy duty. You know, it's not flimsy by any means. Haven't noticed much shake. Now, obviously, when you go to reaching out over your work, you know, you, you can get shake in here, but I haven't noticed it much with this. In fact, I don't think I've gotten any Unless I bump into it or something like that, then it'll shake a little bit. So just to get a close-up here. 
This is the ball head that comes with the arm. It has slots to give you a full 180 degrees to adjust your camera. It is a quarter 20 screw on that ball head. Again, this is your length adjustment. And this just mounts to your tripod's adapter plate and it'll accept either a 3 8 16th screw or a quarter 20 screw in the bottom of it there and of course you can adjust this for your slide the length back and forth and adjust how much counterweight you have back here or how much leverage your counterweight has but overall pretty good product it's the Glide Gear Overhead Boom, or OH50, it's called. So, and I got that at B&H Photo. Think I paid around 70 bucks for it. Can't remember for sure, but I'll put a link in the description if you want to look at one of them. Or if you if you found this in the search, you're probably already looking for one of them. I don't think there's very many videos on this particular uh, overhead boom here on YouTube. So that's one reason I wanted to share this with you guys. Might be something you're interested in. It sure helps me out as far as getting that overhead shot. Makes things a lot easier and a lot simpler. So, might be something you guys could use too. I don't know. But that's all I got. And I'll talk with y'all again soon.